good afternoon, Pray and Share Warriors, or good evening, or whatever it is. Oh, my music. Ew, I'm, I'm throwing things off my desk. Okay. Oh, my little, my little board with all my things fell. Oh, well. I'll pick it up later. I hope you're doing awesome today. I am doing great. I just got done doing an hour and a half training on human trafficking um, on going into schools and uh, sharing sharing information educating that's the word educating educating people about human trafficking um, so anyway that was really good training in everything so I am a bit brain dead but what I want to talk to you about is um, how when people ask us how we're doing, we go, oh, I'm doing great, or I'm doing fine, or I'm doing wonderful, or do we always really feel that inside? I mean, is that really how we feel that day, or are we just guarding ourselves so that we don't have to share with other people our hurts and our disappointments. So that's what I want to talk to you about tonight. And I also found something that is so cool. It has all these verses on it. So I thought we could look up some of these verses. Maybe not all of them. And they're just different random verses about different things. So I really didn't look up any verses. I didn't have time. So I thought maybe we could do uh, the first half and do the other half tomorrow and do the, it also has an invitation on it. It's Keys to Life. And I think this is so cool. I got this, I think, at maybe YEC one of the times that I went. And uh, I just now took everything apart and put it on this little ring. So this will be another way that I'll be doing um, that I will be doing the salvation message. But right now, let's just jump into some prayer. And I may not be on here for very long. Like I said, I've been sitting here for an hour and a half, taking notes and listening um, to the lady that's teaching us how to rep to present and. Uh, I'm just kind of ready to get out of this chair after a while. Ew, my Facebook thing is not doing what I need it to do. All right, maybe it is now. Kind of do that side by side so I can read and I can talk at the same time so I hope you had an awesome day and I hope that you really had an awesome day and you're not just saying that you had an awesome day I actually had a pretty good day today um, I'm in the middle of doing stuff but it was a good day I really um, I enjoyed listening to the um, people that are training us from unbound they are really very positive and um, they really know what they're talking about too and I really enjoy listening to them and learning from them and I'm in the process of typing all my notes out and learning what I need to learn so I can go and present this information and uh, that's a little taxing, but I really do like to learn, so it's kind of right up my alley. It's just something else to learn, and I'm an educator, so I know how to educate, and um, so it's just knowing how to educate their material is what I need to know, and so I'm learning, and that's really good. All right, well, let's jump into some prayer and let's get started on um, just sharing um, how we feel sometimes. Sometimes we really aren't okay. Sometimes it's really not okay. 
and I'll share with you some of the things that I've been through in the past where because I was doing customer service I had to just pretend that everything was okay all right well let's jump into some prayer God we just thank you because we know God that you know our hearts you know our minds so intimately even when we are telling people that we're okay you know the truth God you know all the details all the solutions and all the outcomes of everything that we go through God you are on your throne and you are in control and you are the great I am and the great Jehovah you are our everlasting father you are our creator our sustainer our protector our provider you are our shelter in the storm you are our strength and our refuge God there is no God like you you are magnificent and powerful and mighty and you are the righteous judge but you are also loving and compassionate and kind and uh, patient and wanting none to suffer wanting none to perish and God you keep all of your promises and all of your prophecies will be fulfilled God thank you for loving us thank you for calling us as your children we love you with our whole heart our soul our mind and our strength and God we just cry out to the lost we just cry out for their souls, God. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. God, we pray for the prodigals to come home. We pray for them to see where they are, to realize that they walked away from a really good relationship, God, and to return and repent and have their relationship reconciled with you. God, we pray for Israel and we pray for Palestine, God. We just pray that uh, there would be peace, that that peace would come through Jesus. It wouldn't be a false peace. It wouldn't be a forced peace. That it would be a peace that only comes through Jesus, that no one understands, God. We just pray for these two countries. We pray for the people that have been injured. We pray for the people that have lost loved ones. God, we just pray for peace, comfort, and strength, and healing for the injured. God, we just pray for um, all the many disasters that are going on daily. God, we just pray that you would be with these people. We pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. God, we just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. God, we just uh, want to thank you. For all that you are and for all that you do and in Jesus name we pray amen okay well so I got to thinking about this song by Matthew West by the way I only listen to Christian music so very rarely will I do a share of a secular song I have before I like my little thing hi how you do Anyway, so this song by Matthew West is called Truth Be Told. Because sometimes, and I love the lyrics to this song, um, go and check it out. But sometimes people ask us how we're doing. And we say, oh, I'm doing fine, or I'm doing good, or I'm doing... If I'm not having a good day, I'm doing good. I'm not doing great. But if I'm having a good day... I'm doing great you know um, that kind of gauges to me personally how I feel that day um, but I was taught in customer service just say oh just fine and how are you doing you know just not to tell people what's really going on in your life and just to skirt around not really getting caught up with what's going on in their life just on the fur on the surface just a surface customer relationship and so that's that's kind of how I've learned to uh, do my whole life is like that I'm always telling people oh I'm doing great or I'm doing good you know but inside I'm not I'm not that day so this is what I have to say about this song I love this song and message by Matthew West 
These are lyrics of truth. They are. They are lyrics of truth because many times we are just going with the flow and we just really are not feeling it. We are going through some hard things those days and we just are not. Often we hide what we are feeling in our hearts behind our smiles and we say we are fine but we're not. Even as Christians, we get caught up in pretending that everything is great when it's not. Even though we can hide our feelings from others, we can't hide our feelings from God. We cannot hide our feelings from God at all. He knows. We can't hide our private sins from God either. We all have scars from past hurts that haunt our present also. You know, sometimes those past hurts will get brought to the surface and you go oh yeah that I remember that really hurt you know but God doesn't want us to live there he wants us to live in the present not in our past not in our future in our present so we've been talking about that the past few days um, God sees it all the good the bad the and the ugly but no matter what his love for us never changes it is constant no matter what we are feeling. I am guilty of hiding my feelings behind a smile. I was trained to do it working in customer service for so many years. Just say you're fine and take care of the customer in front of you. I did it for years, but many times behind my smile, um, But many times behind my smile, I was broken inside, going through some really hard tests and trials. Through our tests and trials, we gain wisdom and can encourage others as they walk through similar experiences. There is always hope in Jesus. Whatever you face today, he wants to walk you through. He knows all the hearts, minds, details, solutions, and outcomes. Trust in him alone. Take the hand of the nail-scarred hand and never walk alone. Come just as you are. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm running out of water. Okay, I didn't get me any extra water before I came in here. Okay, well, let's read some of these scriptures. Actually, this is a pretty good one. It talks about get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget my words, or swerve from them. Hmm, this, this must be a different... It's a different... Um, think of the word a different version of uh, the scripture okay let's read Proverbs 4 5 we might just read all Proverbs four. hmm I don't know that's not really I don't know. Okay, we're going to read all of Proverbs 4. I don't, I don't think swerve it fits in this scripture, but I don't know. Okay. Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Hmm. Forget my words or... Okay, maybe decline. Maybe decline is swerve. 
Forsake her not, and she shall persevere thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings. In the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, and turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fail. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not what they stumble. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear to my, unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all her flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and, per, and perverse lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet. Let all, the way, all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. So that was about wisdom and instruction and understanding. And we talked about the wicked people too. So that was a pretty good verse. I like that. Not quite what I was talking about today, but still good. Let's skip over that one. Okay, let's read Psalm sixty two. Just flipping through here, Psalm 62. Psalm 62. I think it said 1 through 24. Well, maybe 1 through 12, because it's only 12. I'm sorry. 62, 1 through 2. It's, like, it's hard to read that writing on there. Okay. Truly my soul waiteth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you. As a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence, oh, a bowing, a bowing wall. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They, they delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but their curse, but they curse inwardly. My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. 
I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. So that is who we pour out our heart before. We pour out our heart before God because He already knows what's in it. He already knows what's going on. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are little, are a lie to be laid in the balance. They are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Okay, so my verse for today on you version was was uh, Psalm five. Sorry, I'm going to turn this fan on. Them. It's a little warm in here. Okay. So Psalm 5 was my morning devotional. So I'm going to read it. And then I think that's all I'm going to read tonight. We may read some of these later. But I'm going to do, I'm going to read my notes from this morning. And do a salvation message. And maybe call it an early night tonight. Because I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, for Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Uh, thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into the house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make the way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their part is very wicked. Their throat is an open sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. And destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against thee. But let... But let those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. In favor wilt thou compass him with a shield. Maybe that's not what I read this morning. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know now what I read this morning. It was about the wicked, and it was... I thought I read that God laughed at their plans, which I thought, that is so fitting. But I don't know. I don't know, but that was a good verse about um, being righteous and um, trusting God. And the people that don't trust God that are not righteous, there is no faithfulness in their mouth. You know, that's something that God is showing me about evil, is they don't have any, they are not loyal to each other. There is no loyalty among them. There is no love or compassion. It's a, it's a me first world. And so, there's no, what am I trying to say, at the very top, 
there is no loyalty for the people that are below them. And they, they will just as soon torture them as anyone else. But God is not like that. And God is a loving God. And God does have love and compassion for us. He has forgiveness for us. He doesn't want us to perish. He wants only good things for our lives. But we have to choose Jesus as our Savior. And that's where a lot of people miss their relationship with God is that they think they have to be perfect to choose Jesus as their Savior and they do not they do not have to be perfect we will never be perfect but we can strive to walk in righteousness which doesn't mean perfection that means trying to do what's right Okay, so let's read my notes from this morning. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child, to get things done and to organize and to work on new opportunities before you. Move forward into this calling, child. So... This, I'm looking at this thing with uh, human trafficking as a calling because I have shared with you many times how um, I have listened to so many people talk about human trafficking and for a while it just made me so angry because there wasn't anything I could do about it. I feel like I am putting feet to my prayers because I'm going to go out and I'm going to share truth with people about human trafficking. A lot of information that people don't even know and in their mind they think it's one thing but it's a lot of different things. Okay. So, um, thank you God for a new day of mercies and blessings of new opportunities to share your truth in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a new beautiful day to organize things for the new calling that you have for me, the new door that is opening. Thank you for restored internet too that I need for this afternoon. My internet was not working yesterday afternoon and as I left for youth it still was not working. I said thank you for all my blessings and keep them all safe today. Help me to be transparent in my feelings going forward, God. Help me to speak with my loved one. Uh, be with my friend and her family today, God. Be with my friends too that I never get to see also. Truth be told, I miss people so much that do not go to my church. Help me to be more social going forward, God. Help me to find socialization for Seth too. I feel like I have created a prison for myself and I don't know how to get out. And he said, child, just walk out your door. There is a whole world out there that needs love and compassion through Jesus. Just be willing to get out of the, your new comfort zone and go. Capital G-O. Child, take your son out too. It is time to socialize again. Go Monday, child, also, and enjoy seeing people again. You are right. You have created your prison. Break free, child. And I want to blame it on other people, but it's actually something that I have created for myself. That I really need to get out and socialize more. I miss people. I said, thank you, God, for the encouragement this morning. I will do what you ask. I will step out into this world that needs love and compassion. I will be the hands and feet of Jesus. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. Thank you for my unique generation of one. That's my son. I'm going to start calling him my unique generation of one. He is perfect. I am thankful. 
I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all I ask uh, today. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. You see the signs unfolding for my word, child. We are preparing a place for each of my precious children. And, and then Jesus will come to usher all of you home forever in a land that is perfect in every way. And I said, Maranatha, God, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But I want to be here until my assignment ends. So when my assignment ends, I'm ready to go. Uh, if my assignment is 20 more years, I'm just going to tough it out because I have things to do here that God wants each one of us to do. It's not just me. He wants us all to uh, be working to further his kingdom. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do. You can see it. It's little tiny. It says keys to life. I hope I can read it. It'll be it will be miraculous if I can read it. But this is so cool. Somebody gave us this at YEC and it was it was on cards. I had to separate the cards and put them on the thing. Okay. I'm always looking for a new way to to uh share the gospel so I found a new way okay keys to life number one God loves you and has a great plan for your life we were talking about that a while ago God has a great plan for our life Jesus said my purpose is to give life in all its fullness John 10:10. 10, 10. sin separates you from God we are all sinners, Romans 3.23. The price for sin is death, Romans 6.23. Uh, that was two. Number three, the price is already paid. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to be for us, to die for us, while we were still sinners, Romans 5.8. Jesus bridged the gap of separation between God and man. Okay. I thought we were farther down the number, but four. It's free. Eternal salvation is a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. You don't earn or work your way to heaven by morality or religion. Does that say morality? Number five, Jesus is the key to life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one came comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. So six, it is, uh, it's up to you to ask Jesus into your heart. Pray, Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is important to be baptized, go to church, pray, and read your Bible, and share with others what Jesus has done for you. And this is like... Uh, this is so tiny. Gospel key tag mini um, made by I don't know who it's made by it's really hard to read I don't know I want to order some though because I want to give the youth some because I think this is great these little scriptures that you can carry with you so if you did invite Jesus to be your Savior tonight, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing and your name is being written in the Lamb's book of life. You are now safe, sealed, and sanctified. 
by God through Jesus his son so I am going to do the blessing from God and do a prayer and get off of here and I'm sorry that I haven't been on here for very long but I am literally getting sleepy from sitting here in front of my computer you know I used to sit in front of my computer for eight hours at a time but I've gotten very spoiled at not having to sit at my computer that much and about an hour or two is about all I can do okay so number 6 24 through 26 says the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace so just continue to pray for peace we need peace through Jesus. We need real peace, not false peace. So let's go ahead and pray. God, I just pray for anyone who comes and listens to your word, God. Um, that you would bless them. That you would protect them and provide for them. That you would be with them and their families. And they would know that you are real. That you would draw them to you, God that um, they would seek you every day through your word, through prayer, and through praise. I just thank you for sending your son to die for us, God. We are all sinners, and we all need a Savior, so thank you for sending Jesus. God, help us to spend more time in your presence, to testify of the good things that you've done in our lives and to encourage others God help us to maybe share the truth with people when they ask us how things are going maybe be forthcoming and not just choke back our feelings and pretend that everything is okay because it's just not truthful God, we just I just pray that everyone on here is doing great and that they can maybe relate to what words you put on my heart today. God, there's been so many times that I've been so broken and just covered it up. Forgive me. Help me to be more forthcoming with my feelings. God, we just praise you and thank you for all the many things that you do for us. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, I nearly fell asleep during that prayer. I'm sorry, God understands. He knows that I'm brain dead at this point. Okay, have an awesome rest of your evening and an awesome tomorrow. Uh, much love and cyber hugs till I see you again good night and I will be here tomorrow night unless something comes up I'll let you know alright good night